Do you guys remember the Pro Cyrus Zinc Alloy Gaming Earbuds I did a little over a month ago? Yeah, it's by the same company, Gravistar. We're going to cover the Gravistar Venus Bluetooth speaker. Now, if you've noticed, I am starting to get a collection of the Gravistar lineup. Well, better late than never. They seem to have found my channel later in the game, and I know that the earbuds and even the Venus Bluetooth speaker has been out there for over a year. And if you've noticed, the names that they're coming up with tends to give you the space vibe with the look of the products and everything that goes with it. So yes, obviously I'm late, but hey, they seem to have faith in my opinion and I'm sure you guys will too. My name is Brandon No D for the ones that have never met me. That's right, there's no D in this name, hence Brannon, not Brandon. So don't you dare go there. I'm watching you. Got my eye on you. All right, let's go ahead and dive in and I'll show you what this little speaker is all about. All right, usually I don't uh, brag too much about a box, but I thought I would show you guys this box because Gravistar tends to do a lot of attention to detail on their products, including their boxes, okay? And what I mean by that is when you open up this nice nylon tab, you're presented with a comic, if you will. It's kind of a short story to their design, and I love the felt inside here. I mean, it's actually lined with felt for your speaker. So yeah, this is one of those things where you're not gonna toss the box um, out and just keep the product. You'll most likely be hanging on to them both. And you're gonna get your uh, user manual real quickly, a nice little pamphlet, definitely showing you how to use your product. And I also wanted to show you a little bit more in detail. The USB-A to the USB-C is actually an elbow style. So very nice cable that comes with this. I thought you guys should know. And then we have the Gravistar Venus, guys. Check this thing out, man. It is really cool. And right out of the box, it's got some heft to it. It's mostly their alloy zinc along with some rubber coating on the buttons. Pretty slick, it actually weighs 16 ounces for those that are wondering. When you get this thing in the palm of your hands, I swear you feel like pulling a pin and chucking this thing. It's like a space age grenade. However, it's not, it's a very delicate instrument that is going to suit you with your desired music. That's right guys, this is one hell of a mini Bluetooth speaker that's gonna be fantastic for a desk at the office, around your desk at home. Now, I wouldn't say you would take it out on the deck and make it a party speaker, but you could definitely use it on top of a patio table and get yourself that perfect sound and not disturb the neighbors. You know they say, be kind to your neighbors. <laughs> All right, let's dive in a little closer. You'll see it has a guard in the front that's protecting the speaker on the ass end of the unit. That's right, I said ass end. You have your passive radiator that's gonna be on a shock system. Very nicely done. You have this gold accent on this matte black finish along with glossy black. It's just really cool looking. I'm digging it for sure. On the bottom, you have these rubber feet and they're so known for their tentacles that come out. If you guys have seen their Mars speaker, which I'm trying to get a hold of, I believe they're gonna send me out that one next. Again, it's over a year old. Hopefully we'll be all caught up for their newer models coming out for the new year. So you'll notice on the top, you have this minus looking button here and a pause button here. Those are functional buttons that you can push and work. And then you have your main power button here. And then you have your plus button here, which is your Bluetooth sync. It shows you these little lines here with the lightning bolt and the Bluetooth symbol. Now, of course, before we fire this up and show you all the functions with the music tests and everything that goes with that, let's get scientific. Nerd out with me real quick. I'll go over the specs and then we'll get on with the test. All right, guys, what you're getting on the speaker is a 10 watt, two inch speaker drivers built into this with six RGB lighting modes. And I'll show you that in just a second. You're gonna get 10 hours of playing time and it's gonna take you less than two hours to fully charge this. They've also included dual pairing. That's right, you can grab two Venuses, hook them both together, and you'll get that true surround sound. 
And they've also been nice enough to add the auto shutoff after 30 minutes of standby time. I think that is a very nice function to have on any electronic that takes a charge so you don't lose battery life when you're not messing with it. Coming with Bluetooth 5.0, again, this is a year older model, so you don't see the 5.1s or 5.2s, but they are stating you'll be able to get yourself plenty of space between you and the speaker with an excellent connection. And lastly, you're going to get an IPX5 rating, which is actually a decent rating on a speaker with all metal and some exposure of their electronics. Now, of course, you won't be able to dunk this in a pool or in a toilet for that matter, but you will be able to splash it and have no worries. Time to fire it up. We're going to play ourselves a few songs and I'm going to show you guys how the buttons operate. All right, to power the speaker, you're going to press and hold this big button here, which is the power button. And this is one of the things I really dig about Gavistar is their sound effects that they incorporate in their products to give you that spacey feel. Check this out. Ready to pair. Ready to pair. So let's go ahead and pair up our phone. Find the Gavistar, go ahead and click on it. Connected. And voila, you are connected. So obviously this is the power button, but it's also a play pause button as well once you're playing a song or a movie or a YouTube video like Brandon O.D. And then you have the plus button that's if you lose your connection and you want to reconnect to a device, you're going to press and hold the plus button. And keep this in mind, the plus button has nothing to do with the volume up or down. That is going to be found by these two knobs up here. You have your volume down. And then the pause button is actually your volume up. Now I have this blue RGB light picked out, but they also include five different RGB lights, six in total. Let me show you how easy it is to change them out. You're gonna press the volume down and volume up at the exact same time, hold it until the color changes. So you have blue, red, green, purple, pink, and turquoise. So you'll definitely be able to find the color that suits you and your decor. All right, let's play a few genres on this. And today's sponsored video is by a personal favorite of mine, Artlist. If you're a content creator looking for that next song title, Artlist has a plethora of songs to choose from. Or how about those sound effects that you hear in all my videos? What about that perfect stock footage you've been looking for? Artlist and Artgrid have it all for your creative needs. And remember to grab yourself two free months on top of the one year subscription using my link down below. You're welcome. It's got really nice sound for as small as it is. It's pretty impressive for sure. I'm not done chasing after you. One by one, yeah, we're making them. You can't believe what you want. Put just the sand to me. vibration in the hand. It's all the way up. It's nice. The first impressions I got on these set of earbuds is way out there in outer space. I'm talking the year 2050. I mean, that's what came to mind. So, of course, with my blown out mind, give you guys a hell of a cool modern intro. Hope you enjoyed it. Let's go ahead and hit up the pros and cons real quickly. Pro number one, I would have to give it to the style and 
design of this little gem, and I do call it a gem. Love the design of Gavistar. They seem to go over and beyond uh, what it takes to make something look very unique and basically give you a conversational piece. And I believe that if you have this on your desk or anywhere near you, it's definitely gonna spark up conversation such as, what the hell is that and where did you get it? Another pro obviously is the sound that you're going to get out of this. Even though it's mini, you're definitely going to get that amazing bass sound that you wouldn't expect coming out of something so small. And lastly, I'd like to kick in the auto shutoff feature. I think that was a nice feature for Gavistar to include in a speaker. In this day and age, our attention span isn't as great as it used to be. So with all the technology out there, including a Bluetooth speaker. So yeah, it's gonna be very nice to shut off if you're not playing with it within that 30 minutes of standby time you're gonna save yourself some juice there. All right, where there's pros, there's cons, and I have a few to mention, not in any particular order, of course. Con number one is it's not very easy to carry around. I mean, you pick it up and that's it. There's no handle on it. You do have this uh, little bar, of course, and it would have been nice if they had sent a lanyard in the box, but uh, they did not. So you are able to hook a lanyard to it, but you're gonna to have to purchase that on your own. And another con is this big plus button. It should be for volume control. I mean, at least that's what I thought. If you push that, it's going to disconnect you from your Bluetooth because it's a Bluetooth sync button and prepare you to sync another device. I just wish they would simply switch out the controls. It would be so much more simplified, if you will. Now, if you guys have any questions on today's review, don't hesitate, drop me a comment down below and I'll most certainly try to get back to you as soon as possible. Now, I am not sponsored or endorsed through Gravistar. We already discussed that earlier. They merely reach out to the channel, which they finally found me, and they're sending me out their products little by little. Right now on Amazon, and yes, I will be sure to leave you an affiliate link down in my description below and where you can pick one of these up. I get a little kickback. It's not huge, but it definitely helps the channel and myself grow in making these videos for you guys. Still retailing for $89.95, so they've been pretty tight on this price from a year ago until now. Um, I did see it a while back with a 15% coupon. However, there is no coupons right now as we speak, but watch out for it, because guys, I'm telling you, Amazon definitely throws coupons left and right at you. Keep an eye out for that. And also I'm seeing only four left in this particular color. Speaking of colors, not only can you pick up the shadow black, you can also order it in Aurora Green, Dawn White, and Flame Red. So which color do you prefer? Drop me a comment and let me know down below. All right, guys, before we get you out of here, we're gonna open a fortune cookie. That's right. Oh, I was gonna tear it. I forgot, I got the knife right in my hand. No, I'm not tired, not at all. Busy, busy weekend. Guys, I've got so much products to review for you. It's not even funny. It's crazy. It's crazy, I'm telling you. All right. You will move to a wonderful new home within the year. Wow. Hey, honey, pack your bags. We're moving. She actually doesn't want to move. We're here in Michigan. My wife wants to move to Arizona. I think she wants to roast marshmallows outside her car window. If you guys have stuck with me this long in the review, well, you're either family that I'd like to kind of think you are, or there's something tremendously wrong with you. But hey, we don't judge here at this table. No sir, no ma'am. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you are not already, and I will see you in my next video.